Hey, Pamela here, and I just wanted to start this video off with a little taste of nature because I don't know about you, but I just feel so great when I'm in nature. And it's like everything, the way that it smells, the way it looks, and you hear the birds chirping, you hear the river flowing, and I realized today that that is all from the outside in. And there's nothing wrong with that, but what if you could feel that way from the inside out? I mean, when I started eating a plant-based diet, whole foods, nothing out of a box, or very few things out of a box, I started to feel more alive. And I started to feel more natural. And I realized it is possible. You don't have to drive to be in nature. You just feel that. You just are that when you start eating whole plant-based foods. So I'd like to share with you three tips that made it really easy for me to be successful on this diet. And if you'd like to, opt into my email list. I'd love to have a relationship with you because people going in this direction are my kind of peeps, all right? So come on back to my house and I will share with you three tips that will make it easier for you to get started transitioning into a plant-based diet. See you so the first tip is to do not, I repeat, do not try to talk anyone else into this lifestyle. This is for you. The more you try to get other people uh, to do something that they may or may not be ready for, the more it takes away from your determination to do what's best for you. And I know that might sound selfish, but that is really the thing to do. Gandhi said it best when he said, be the change you want to see in the world. You don't have to say anything. A lot of times when you start eating more nutritious, fresh foods, you're going to start to feel better, you're going to start to look better, and people will just come to you and say, hey, what are you doing? You look amazing. <laughs> so don't say anything to people, okay? Just do it for yourself. The second thing is to focus on self-love. Sometimes transitioning from an old lifestyle into a new lifestyle, you'll feel uh, emotions come up, you know, you'll feel some challenges if you're detoxing, it can be hard. And so do whatever it takes, do what you love to do. Put it on your calendar to take a hot bath, you know, or do yoga or do some reading of, of information that's really inspirational to you. Whatever it is that will help you to nourish yourself as you're going through this transition and beyond. The third tip I want to share with you is to set up a program. You don't have to be very regimented or dogmatic or anything like that, but have some kind of structure in place so that you're ready. If you go to the store twice a week or your farmer's market or wherever you buy your fresh produce, go there, say for example, Sundays and Wednesdays. So you know that you're always going to have fresh produce on your counter and in your fridge. And then what I like to do is I'll turn on some inspirational talk or a really nice DVD or something like that and just start preparing it. And, and you do it in such a way that you're doing it um, in a relaxed manner with love. So you're preparing all that food to have ready and available for you when you're hungry. Because I can guarantee if you don't have it ready and you're hungry, it is way too tempting to just grab something that's convenient for you and run out the door. So try to plan in advance, Sundays and Wednesdays, whatever days work for you, to get your produce, wash it up, cut it up, and then you'll have it available for soups or wraps or salads or however you want to use it. But you're going to have that ready to go. So those are my three tips. I hope that you found those useful. And again, I encourage you to opt into my list so that we can stay connected. I really look forward to building a relationship with you because my mission in life is to see people living the most vibrant life that they can. So until we meet again, just remember, you are what you eat. You are how you eat, not only your body, but your mind.